Welcome back, now crew. Welcome back. Welcome back. In this video, I would be doing a beautiful, easy set of dip nails, you guys. Yes, dip. Now, before we get into that, let's give a hey, girl, hey, to my nail sister, TG. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I said your name. Let me start over, you guys. So my nail crew shout out goes to TG, and TG had me cracking up. She said the Uncle Ant's version, not Uncle Luke, Uncle Ant's version. I wanna bake, I wanna bake, I wanna bake, I wanna bake. <laughs> she said it touched a soft spot in her soul and I was literally cracking up. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say Uncle Ant's version of the bake remix, then go back and watch this video. You watch this video, it'll all make sense, okay? It will all make sense. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box okay so let's get into this dip set of nails this video is going to be so quarantine friendly this is so basic anybody can get a beautiful set of nails so you start by washing your hands and prepping your nails you prep exactly the same you would for anything else then you apply your tips so these are the tips that I'm using I got them right from the one and only Amazon <laughs> I got them right from Amazon it comes in this cute little pink bag this is what it looks like did I have it upside down I sure did <laughs> so this is what it looks like of course I will leave the link and everything in the description box but let me show you one of the little baggies that comes inside I love that the bags are separated oh my gosh I really love nail tips that come in bags now because when you drop it on the floor and the whole thing opens up and then the nails are everywhere Oh my gosh, that just really irks my nerves. That does not happen when you get your nail tips in the bag. <laughs> so I have really learned to love nail tips that come in the bag. What can I say? Plus it's easier to store. Anyway, I'm showing you guys most of the products that I will be using in this set. Of course, you could use any color you want, any system you want, but I just got the diamond collection, the diamond collection from IGL Beauty. And I really, really, really just wanted to use it. Of course, I do have a swatch video when I did the unboxing and I will leave the link to that video in the description box. It's a really good video to watch if you're considering trying their product. So today I will be using the diamond collection. I will also be using my acrylic from my website. I will leave the link to my website in the description box. I'll also be using sparkling co's glitter you see that little glitter right there oh my gosh that's just gonna bring everything together i love me some glitter um other than the acrylics i have a spoon primer base coat and top coat in addition, you might want to have your UV LED light ready because that is going to be necessary when doing dips the way that I'm going to do dips today. So <laughs> the other set of hands, that's Vashti. <laughs> so I'm doing my nails on this side of the table and she's on the opposite side of the table trying to mirror me and trying to do her nails. So I'm doing dip nails. She's doing dip nails. We're all doing dip nails, okay? <laughs> the nails were already prepped. I add the nails tips as I showed you guys and now I am just adding primer the primer you can find on my website I really really do love this primer I'm not just saying that because I sell it because honestly I wouldn't use it if I didn't like it and if I didn't like it I wouldn't sell it so anyway you guys all you do is add the primer after the primer dries you add your base coat any base coat will work but for the sake of the video, I was using mostly IGL Beauty products, so I decided to use their base coat as well. So you add the base coat to the entire nail, and then you spoon on the acrylic. I'm using clear acrylic, but obviously if you have clear dip powder, that's also going to work as well. I'm spooning it on. I do not like to dunk or dip my finger in. Obviously, you know, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> do what makes you happy. We did clean and sanitize our hands. So obviously the nails are clean going into the container. But I just find that it looks 
neater when you sprinkle the acrylic or the dip powder on versus when you put your finger in. Sometimes when you put your finger in, if it's not at the right angle when it hits the acrylic, it ripples up and it's just not smooth. But if you sprinkle it on with a spoon, it goes on nice like almost every time. So try it if you have not and let me know what you think. The spoon that I'm using, I got from the dollar store. It came in like a bag of, I don't know, maybe six to 10 and it was only a dollar. Uh, yeah, it's super cute and little and it gets the job done. So as you can tell, I applied the base coat. I sprinkled on the acrylic and then I just used a little tool to get any extra gel that might have oozed out on my skin. So you wipe that away before you cure it because once you cure it, that's a wrap. You got to wait until the end where you do the finished filing. So we got the basement layer of the base coat and the acrylic. That's the basement layer. Now we're going in with the color. So I am just using pink and orange because I don't know why. I just feel like those colors just look really, really good. I don't know. <laughs> pink and orange just screen springtime for me and it's springtime. So hello let's have some fun here. All right, let me break it down for the newbies. Let me break it down for the newbies. The first basement layer, let's go back to that because I feel like somebody's confused. So the basement layer, I brushed it over the entire nail and I sprinkled the acrylic on it, the clear acrylic. That's because when the client comes back for a fill, this way you could file off most of the color and you'll still have that protective clear layer of acrylic and base coat, okay? So that's what that layer was for. Now we're going in with the color. We're not going to just cover the entire nail because that's not going to give you a good structure, okay? Even though these are dip nails, we still want a good structure to the nail. So when building a nail, you want the stress area and the apex of the nail to be the strongest, okay? So that's what we're going to focus on, even though these are dip nails. So we got the basement layer, that clear layer, that went right over the stress area of the nail. So we got one layer already protecting the stress area. Now with the color, I'm using that as my second layer to protect my stress area, okay? So, so far, the stress area has two good layers. By the time we're done, it's going to have four, okay? And that's going to make the stress area of the nail the strongest, but also it's going to allow us to not bulk up the cuticle area because nobody wants that. So I did the first four nails and now I'm going to flash cure that before I move to the thumb because we all know once you turn that hand to do the thumb, the other four nails are just messed up. And if you start with the thumb first once you turn the thumb to get to the other nails well then the thumb's messed up so let's not even play that game okay we have the lamp right there there's a flash cure button right on there stick your hand in the lamp hit that 10 second cure <laughs> and everybody's happy okay now don't forget even though you flash cured it that's just to set it in place so you still do have to do a full cure once all the nails are set so this is what it looks like so far so good so I'm going to move my hand off of the table because I don't want to dust anything into my acrylic once the nails have been dust off it's time for the second round of color so apply your base coat from the cuticle area down to the free edge you want to make sure the entire nail is covered with base coat because the area that does not have base coat well, it does not have anywhere for the acrylic to stick and now you got a lumpy nail, okay? So be very careful and meticulous with this step. This step is very important. So once you cover the entire nail with base coat, now it's time to scoop on or spoon on your acrylic powder. And yes, it does look a little bit messy, but you guys, you guys, it's okay, okay? It's okay, just let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. It's gonna be a little messy. Just understand that <laughs> and move on with your day. Look how good that looks, you guys. I can't stand it. So now I'm going to flash cure it. 
So it sits in place and I don't mess it up when I do other things, okay? So 10 second flash cure and it really does save your life. <laughs> it really does. All right, so once that comes out of the oven, we do the same thing to the other nail. So I'm just going to brush on the base coat all the way from the cuticle area to the free edge and scoop on the acrylic powder. Now this is the third the third layer over that stress area, right? Remember the basement layer, then the second layer, which was the color, and then the third layer, which is also color, all protecting that stress area. So the stress area is nice and thick at this point, but we still got more layers to go. So the nail should be really good and you should not have any breakage when you do your nails like this. Plus, you guys, there's no activator. There's not a whole bunch of bottles involved. <laughs> I really don't like traditional dip systems. I just don't understand why they have to make it so cumbersome. Like what? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Give me a bottle of base coat and some acrylic and send me on my way. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I really, really love dipping with this. And my cousin is over there. I don't know. You guys can kind of see her finger in the back, but she's doing a good job. At the end of the video, when I insert the pictures for my final look, I'll insert a picture of her final look as well. Hers isn't as like loud as mine's is. <laughs> So mine's is very like springtime and hers is very mellow. <laughs> but I'm surprised. I'm surprised because she's normally the loud one. Anyway, I had a request to do a dip ombre nail. And guess what, sister? Guess what now, sis? I'm doing a dip ombre nail. And it's so easy. It's so, so easy. All you need is a fluffy brush, an old makeup brush. In my case, I'm using a old size 12 acrylic brush that I got from Sally so long ago, I can't even remember. Um, just an old brush will work. And all you do is dip in the acrylic powder and tap it, just tap, 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 tap. Tap it over the area that you want to be colored and that's it, that is it. And then you pop it in the oven and you let it bake, bake, bake. And when you take it off, look, I'm going to dust it off for you. Look, I, I'm acting like I'm talking only to you. I'm talking to everyone, <laughs> I'm talking to everyone. But look how cute that ombre nail looks once I dust it off. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna freak out. It is so gorgeous. Ah, you can see it. It is so cute. You guys, you cannot tell me. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do another layer on the ombre nail. The other nails look very pigmented and I don't think I'm going to add any more color on the other nail, but I want my ombre to be more pronounced. So I'm going to repeat those steps, okay? So you brush on the base coat, just like you did anything else. And then you sprinkle on the powder. But this time, instead of a spoon, you use a brush. I don't know why the brush gives it that airbrush look. I don't understand, but it works. So if you guys have not tried this, try it. Try it, try it, try it. It really, really does work. All you do is just dip in the powder and tap it over the nail. And it comes out nice like every time. It really does. Another tip I want to give you guys if you're doing this method Start with the lighter color first because I did get a little bit of pink in my orange. Now, thankfully, both of the colors are so close that I don't, it's not really going to make a difference. But if it does make a difference in the colors that you are using, start with the lighter color first or use two different brushes. Two different brushes. That way you don't have to mix them in the containers. I think that's the best way to go. Okay, so now once the powder is on the nail, you pop it in the oven and you let her bake, bake, bake. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> you thought I was gonna sing it. Nope, not yet, not yet, not yet. I have to add glitter. I have to add glitter. So, so far, I've just been using the IGL Beauty Diamond Collection. And you guys, I really do like this collection. I can't even lie about it. I just, I just cannot lie. I love it. I really do. All the colors have worked really well so far. I have not had any issues with using it with monomer. And now as a dip system, it works really well. So I'm excited about it. The glitter acrylic that I'm using 
using, like I mentioned before, is from Sparkling Co. I don't have a coupon code for iGel Beauty, but I do have one for Sparkling Co. So I will leave that in the description box below and I'll also pop it up on the screen. But you apply the glitter the same exact way. You brush on the base coat and then you scoop on the glitter. That is it, you guys. And look, oh my God, look at that glitter. Oh my gosh, you guys, gag, you guys, I'm gagging. <laughs> Let's just add a little more. <laughs> Let's just add a little more. I cannot wait till I add the bling. I got glitter. I'm going to have bling. But oh, you guys, make sure you watch the entire video so that way you can see. If you've already seen this part with me adding the glitter, you definitely want to look at how I add the bling because that just ties everything together. But look at this, you guys. That is just so, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's pop it in the oven. So now I can sing because I am happy. Papa in the oven, Papa in the oven, Papa in the oven. I let her they, they, they. What she doing, babe, babe, babe? What she doing, babe, babe, babe? All right. If you sang the song while your nails were baking in the oven, then they came out perfect. So now you could move on to the encapsulating step. So when you encapsulate, it's exactly the same as when you added the first layer. Remember that basement layer so long ago? Yes, that layer, you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to brush the base coat from the cuticle area to the free edge of the nail and then sprinkle on the clear acrylic. And that's going to encapsulate your color. That way, when we move into the filing process, you're not chunking out your color. So you're going to cure it the exact same way that you've been doing. Dust off all the extra dust you created. And if you're happy with the thickness of your nail, well, you can move on to filing. Me, however, I like a good thick nail, you guys. I like a good thick nail. So I encapsulated it one time and I was like, mm, girl, you know, you too rough for this. So you need another layer. So here I go with my second layer of encapsulating and you do it the exact same way. This is so simple, you guys. Summer is coming. Summer is upon us. We have to get ready, ladies, okay? There's no more time. You have to get ready. I know you thought by now the shops would be open and by summertime, you could just go in and get your nails done. No mask required. Life is back to normal. Well, that is not the case. So get you some dip powder and some base coat and let's get it together, okay? This is so simple. We all gotta look good. It's no reason. It's no reason. <laughs> It's no reason. <laughs> all right, so here I go. Last layer of encapsulating, and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven and let her big, big, big. What's she doing, big, big, big? What's she doing? <laughs> Take those out, and we are ready to file. Look at that. Look how quick and easy it was to do these dip nails. Oh my gosh, so cute. Already, already. I could just sense the cuteness. And I didn't even file it yet. Look at that. Oh, those colors look so good together. I love an orange and pink combo. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just looks good to me. Like my eyes, when I see it, it just lights up. They're just very happy. All right, so now that the nails are done, we can move into the filing process. Another good thing about dipping your nails this way is once it comes out of the lamp, it's fully cured and it's not sticky. So you don't have to waste time wiping off the sticky inhibition layer. You can move right into filing. So like I mentioned, you file this just as you would anything else. You could use a hand file. You could use an e-file. So today I I'll be using both, but stay in your comfort level. If you're only used to using a hand file, well, just use a hand file. And I would suggest that every time you do a new set of nails, you get a new hand file. I, I really, that is so important because it's going to save your wrist. Oh my gosh. Each time you do a set of nails with a hand file, even though they say reusable, wash and reuse, the grit is used up, my darling, and you got to put in so much work with that wrist. It's not worth it. Carpal tunnel, not fun. Okay, it's not fun. Invest in a good e-file or get a brand new hand file each time. 
that's an advice that I hope somebody takes because again, carpal tunnel, not fun, okay? Another piece of advice I would give you guys, if you're trying to file and shape your nail, please use something other than 180 grit. 180 grit is a very nice beginner hand file. However, if you're trying to file and shape your nails, oh my gosh, get yourself 100 grit, please, okay? Or better yet, a 80 grit when you're comfortable, okay? When you're comfortable, venture off into a coarser grit file. That way you're saving your wrist. Okay, I really do care about these wrists. <laughs> I, you guys know that I'm in the medical field and you guys know I used to do joint injections every day. Like that was my job. Joint injections and trigger point injections. And I really used to have to do a lot of wrists, shoulder and knee injections. So when I tell you guys that pain is real, like it's not fun to have to get injections in your wrist. So be careful, protect them while you can. So anyway, um, I don't even know how I got off on that tangent. (laughs) I don't know, guys. (laughs) It's like I pick something and I focus on that one thing and then I'm off on a tangent. So today, I guess it was filing... Maybe somebody watching today needed to hear that. If so, and that's you, please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed. Everybody, 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 take a minute. Take a minute. I'm just filing. Nothing crazy fancy here. So now you could take a moment to make sure that you already like this video, please. Thank you. And make sure you're subscribed. Even if you thought that you were subscribed because you know YouTube be shady sometimes and YouTube will unsubscribe someone. I do not understand that. YouTube, why? Why YouTube, why? So make sure that you guys have given me a thumbs up and please make sure that you are still subscribed. I thank you guys so much. Oh, and then on that same note, enter my giveaway. Enter my giveaway. By the time you see this video, Yeah, by the time you see this video, it will be the last day to enter the giveaway, okay? So make sure you enter and good luck, good luck, good luck. All right, so my nails are filed and now I'm just giving it a little buff, buff, buff. So the buffer that I'm using is from the Pottle. I really do like that buffer because it's nice and firm and it does help with the scratches and it does help to smooth out the nail. So, you know, I've been using that buffer more and more lately. So anyway, after you buff the nails, you want to spray it with some alcohol and scrub away all the dust that you created Or you could actually get up and go to the sink and wash your hands. But for lazy people, (laughs) I just use the alcohol right there, you know, gets the job done. And now for the bling. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for watching all the way up until this point. Oh, thank you. I wish I could just hug you. So now we are adding bling. Ah, shimmer and shine. The bling gel that I'm using today is from Beetle. So I will leave the coupon code of Beetles in the description box. I heard this bling gel was really, really good. I've used it one other time. And so far, so far, if you guys remember this video right here. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time that I used it. And her stones are still on. So I was like, okay, bet. Let me try it on my nails because I'm very rough with my hands. I'm very heavy handed. So if the bling gel works on my nails and I have no stones missing, I'll give you guys the thumbs up approval to go get it. It'll be nail crew approved if I don't lose a stone. So anyway, I added the bling gel to my nails. I'm just random with the placement of my stones. But then these little petally type bling teardrop I don't know what we're gonna call them petals because it looks like I'm making a flower so when I saw those it just instantly said oh flower so hello we're getting the flower today hello okay so the reason I'm putting the the bling on my finger if you guys are like what is she doing oh my god Nikki you are so weird well when I picked it up it flipped over so it was upside down if I put it on the nail upside down well then that just wouldn't make sense so I had to flip it over so I figured putting it on my finger to flip it over I won't get any gel on it and I don't know it just made sense in my head it really did it and it and it worked so if you find that it's weird or cringy I'm (laughs) 
<laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I'm weird and I'm cringy. According to Muff. Muff, my daughter, you guys. For you guys that are new, you don't know Muff. Muff is my daughter. She's 16 years old. Everything I do and say, like literally everything is cringy. So, <laughs> so yeah, even my nails. I'm sure she probably thinks these are cringy as well. I don't know. <laughs> You know, at that age, anything your mother do or does is just very weird. So anyway, before I pop my nails in the lamp for a full cure, oh my gosh, I have to do a flash cure because, and I say this all the time now, every time I go to put my nails in the lamp, the bling has moved. Where are you going? Stay where I put you. Oh my gosh. So with that, you guys... I don't even move my hand. I flash cure it with the little pot of lamp. That way it stays in place. And then I can put it in the big lamp and cure it. So that's a little trick if you guys are having that issue as well. Flash cure it with the little lamp and then move it to the big lamp. So now I am using the Eye Gel Beauty Top Coat. I love this top coat. I already told you guys I love this top coat. So I'm not going to go on and on and on about the top coat. But it's some good top coat. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it alone. So now I'm going in with the cuticle oil. The cuticle oil, you guys, you can find on my website, nailbynikki.com. So when you go to nailbynikki.com, <laughs> you can try the clear acrylic that I used today in this video, as well as the cuticle oil. And the cuticle oil smells so good. And I mix it myself and it's my own special blend. So yeah, you definitely want to try it. And this is what the nails look like. This is what the nails look like. This is what the nails look like. I love them. I freaking love them. Look at the ombre nail. Come on, dip ombre. Come on, dip ombre. You did that. You did that. Okay. Come on. Come on, glitter. Come on, glitter. Come on, bling. Oh, come on, bling. I gel beauty. What can I say? Y'all put together a nice little collection and my nails look so stinking cute. And as promised, you guys, here is my cousin's nail. So she was able to watch me do my nails and do her nails. You guys, I told you this process is so simple. She's a newbie. If she could do it, you can do it. So that's a wrap, nail crew. Thanks for rocking with me until the end. I love you guys so much. If you try your nails and you do gel dip for the first time, leave me a comment below and let me know how they turned out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.